Welcome, Welcome to, to Stir the Pot TV. We your hosts, NJW, NSW. Join us for Daddy, Daughter, Time. As we do this episode of What? Am I the A Hole? Okay, let's get into it. Alrighty. Go ahead. What are you going to say? Get to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first one is Am I the A Hole for leaving my sister homeless? Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's right. Let's keep on going. <laughs> okay. So, I, 50, 55 female, have a sister, 47 female. She has lived with our father for the last 12 years after her now ex husband kicked her out when she got knocked up for cheating on him. In those 12 years, she rarely held a job, maybe for two years total, and she completely blew through our dad's savings and forced him to work until he was over 80 years old. Okay. That's, all <laughs> That's a lot. No. That's a lot to pick up on. Okay, like we gotta okay. let's digest that. Okay, so now what? What? Do you, how you feel about somebody? Okay, to, because not my daddy. Look, <laughs> not my daddy. Okay, we talking about know. her. We talking about her, aren't we? We are talking about her, but that's how I feel about me and my daddy. Okay, well, that's right. why you doing daddy daughter time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have none. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, all right. So, where does it say? Until he was eighty years old. Sadly, he passed away a few months ago never having gotten to enjoy any sort of freedom or retirement. Because he had to work because she she, she, she she spent all the savings? I guess That's so. what she's saying. Yeah. Okay. okay. She's bitter because she didn't get none. <laughs> Don't say that because she's fighting for her dad and you would feel some type of way if I didn't fight for you. Yeah, if I'm dead, who's going to give them? That doesn't fight. matter. That doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, so... Since he was providing for her and her child while she did nothing. Since she had been living with our dad, I spent 50K replacing the roof on his house, fixing a mold issue, buying him a car, which he then stole and wrecked while drunk driving, paying for their gas and food, and multiple other things. I have attempted to avoid funding her, but it's hard to, while also helping to care for my dad and her child. He didn't do anything wrong and doesn't deserve to live this way. But I thought she said he passed away. She's saying beforehand. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was before she was doing stuff for them before he died. Okay. So, okay. okay. My dad left his house to me, knowing she would not take care of it. My brother and I attempted to have multiple conversations with her over the last 12 years about what would happen when he died. We attempted to find her jobs that she would get fired from for being late, tried to set her up with a savings account and teach her how to save, and tried to get her to start preparing for the day when he passed, since we told her the plan was to sell the house. All she could do was scream about how we were going to force her to be homeless. But she's not forcing herself to be homeless. She ain't trying not to be That's homeless. What I'm saying, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, the day sadly has come and I am getting ready to sell the house. It's worth next to nothing since she has destroyed it. In good faith, knowing she has no money, my husband and I paid for six months of the electricity, gas, water, and gave her money for food. Additionally, I told her I would give her half the proceeds from selling the house and she could do whatever she wants with it. I just don't want to see her again. Instead of being grateful, she screamed and cried about how I'm taking her home away. Please note, I also grew up in this house, as did my brother. She said I should continue paying for all of the electricity and maintenance since it's my house and she can continue to live there for free. I thought, given that she's put zero dollars into the house, has substantially decreased the home's value, has lived for free the last 12 years, and has burned through 50K of my money, with the majority of that going to the home, my offer was more than fair. Yeah, so she's saying, Are you taking my house from me. But it's but your house for real, so still pay the bills. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow, okay, okay. So she said, the 50K I have spent on them was a lot of my savings, and I would like to get at least a portion of that back. I just don't know what to do. I'm honestly scared she will come and hurt me if I don't do what she wants. Half the proceeds, which would be 40K, can go a long way in the small town they currently live in, and many people have to start out their lives with much less. I mean, I graduated college with a student loan debt and zero dollars to my name. So am I the a-hole for offering my sister half of the proceeds I get for the house I own, even though it will leave her homeless? Okay. No, she not, because she's already told her she's not. She, she gave her 12 years. And she that's said she a long afford, time. She can't afford to do it. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah. 12 years is a long time. But the, time. the one part that she's not, she's leaving out is that her sister is on drugs. What do you mean? She has to be on drugs. 
the sister that's the sister, the, yeah, the sta- yeah, the stand. Yeah, the stand. Okay, so she's she not adding she's, that part. No, no. Okay. Only a junkie will tell you, you keep paying these bills while I stay here. <laughs> and then she says she feels she's going to kill her. She's going to she gonna do something to her. Right, to get that money. Yeah, anyway. anyway. Uh, well, girl, I mean, that's that sounds like it's... Okay, so should I read first comment or... Do they read the comments on them things? Yeah. Okay, read the first comment then. Okay. Somebody said, it says, not the a-hole. You might have to have her legally evicted, though. Repost this in the legal thread, and with the area you were living in, there should be someone who can give you some pointers on how to deal with her. I wish I could offer more advice, but I am thinking you need a lawyer. Stand firm and make sure you change the locks as soon as she is out. Also, make sure your house is safe. Did your dad ever have an emergency key to your place? Or did the, did the dad leave a will? My thing is, so your sister's that dangerous? Yes, because it's in drugs. So but she didn't add that. She she's didn't not going to add that. You but why? Why, wouldn't you, why would you say everything else that she did? This, she did that. She took all this money for you. Because it's but still you still sister. Say, okay, but if that's still your sister, then still do all of this for you. If you still have that mindset, oh, I'm not going to bash her online, even though you're still telling us this story, so it's still online and it's still public. Okay. Why not tell us that she's on drugs, too? But I, I was assuming that. I'm not saying that she is, but the way she sounds like... <laughs> You just saying only a drug head would say yeah, something like yeah. that. Okay. You keep paying these bills while I live here. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, 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 okay. That's what you do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're just gonna move on to the next yeah, one. Yeah. No. So, so one. okay. So I understand what she's saying <clears throat> about her putting her out. So what you feel is if she put her out, then what? She's wrong for that. When she she's gave her trying 12... to see is she wrong if she still puts her so, out. So, but she been living there for twelve years for rent free. Rent free. Rent free, and probably hasn't even been helping taking care of the daddy that was there. She can if you're taking the money from him. Right. Okay. So this is the first episode of Daddy Daughter Time. You leave your comments at the end of the, of the comments, and we will uh, get back to you. Thank you for joining <laughs> us. See you next time. Have a good one. Hit number.